<laughs> what are you laughing at? We have music playing. So Hannah's doing just dance. Yeah, Hannah's doing just dance. I can't barely do the one step, let alone the two step. So I don't play it's that true. game. I'd probably hurt myself. <laughs> um, so, anyways, we just did a um, we we put out a thing on Facebook. If anybody needed something in our uh, local community, if anybody needed something. And we didn't have any responses because I put down, uh, hey, I'm going to be back in town about 7 or 8 o'clock on the uh, one night. If somebody needs something, message me. We never got any messages um, on that. But then um, last night we got a message and some, a person needed something and they had a couple kids, uh, adolescent and a tyke. So anyways, uh, we were able to put together a little gift basket and gift card and i had the person meet us at the gas station and we topped them off with gas so anyways it's a blessing to be a blessing mm -hmm. and um we've had people help us out before um and if you're ever able to if you get help um reach out and uh, help somebody whether it's monetary or just a helping hand or a deed or something that maybe a talent that you can help them with i mean it's it's always great to be able to do that. So we're just trying to encourage you to um, look to help somebody in whichever way you might be able to do something. And we just want to encourage everybody. You know, I've, I posted this out on Facebook and I actually said it this morning for church. But just, um, just that people know that, yes, there's a virus and yes, people are being advised to stay home. But remember, there's a lot of people who need social interaction. Isolation is not good for them. Um, it can lead to depression. It can lead to a lot of different things. So make sure you're reaching out to your neighbors, reaching out to your family, reaching out to your friends, um, call them, send a note in the mail, Facebook message, whatever you can do. I mean, that could be serious too. Is We're in kind of a fragile place right now as a nation. Everyone's worried. There's a lot of fear. So whatever you can do to love others is really the key here. And uh, sure, it could be giving some food. It could be giving a gift card. It should be giving some gas, or it could just be giving that phone call. That's kind of key to some people. So, And even try to really check on a lot of seniors. So there's a lot of seniors out there that don't have anybody. Mm -hmm. And some of them uh, are not tech savvy. Some of them are more tech savvy than what you ever think. Yeah. But some of them may not have a connection. Make sure you're maybe... If you know somebody's not sick or something like that, um, haven't been around anybody, maybe have them knock on the door or something like that. You know, just just be able to check on people out there as well. Um, we are getting ready to have dinner. I work my 312, so we're going to have dinner. So we're going to watch our Depression Era movie. <laughs> we kind of make light let's, of some of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, let's just, so, you know, let's just uh, rewind the tape here just a little bit. When we went to Hawaii the one year, he's like, let's watch a movie about going on vacation to the tropics. And so what do we watch? Cast Away. And so, so I don't... <laughs> so, so anyways, yeah, with no. what we're going through, I want to watch uh, Cinderella Man tonight. No, Cinderella and, Man, but you know what? One. The best part of Cinderella Man... He comes out at the end. Yep. Um, and one of the, one of the, one of my favorite parts of the uh, movie is when he went to the welfare office, and which was that was a very embarrassing situation in those days to go get a handout like that. Mm -hmm. And when he got the money, he actually went went back to the government, paid it back. I mean, that kind of character is just awesome. And for the fact that he was kind of a star of his time in the mid '30s, right after the depression, and he would work. Um, in the uh, just doing manual labor, hauling uh, railroad ties off the ships and things like that. So don't ever be too proud to do any kind of work. I don't care if it's McDonald's, digging a ditch, or whatever um, you have to do to provide for your family. Um, get out there and do it. And just keep hanging in there, you know. Um, morning may come for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So maybe things are happening right now in your life, and it's out of your control, and you don't know what to do, and your hours are cut at work, or... Whatever is going on, just keep going. Don't quit. It's going to be okay. I tell Josh it's all going to work out. That's what I've been saying for years. And then we look back 20 years later and everything worked out somehow. So everything's going to work out. You're going to be okay. Your family's going to be okay. Uh, your church family's going to be okay. Your your work's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to come together. So and just hang in there. There's still some free things that you can do. You can still keep social distancing, doing some of those things. Um, we might even try to get out maybe next weekend, try to do something. Maybe we'll pack a picnic and maybe go see a couple sites and, you know, try to stay clear of everybody. But, um, 
Where we, I... had, we had plans to go out of town. We were going to go see Natalie down in Tulsa. And Hannah had, uh, Josh said, Hannah, where do you want to go for spring break? Because she's a senior and we were going to go to New Orleans and yep. really have this great experience. And right now everything's on hold. So we're going to make the best of the situation that it is. And we're going to have some good family time. We were going to do some reviews on some Airbnb, Airbnbs that we had reserved. Mm -hmm. We were going to go see the World War II Museum. We were going to go do a swamp boat tour. And we had plans to come up through Nashville. And after we had heard about the Nashville tornado, think about those people. They're dealing with this virus and some of them don't even have homes. Um, so they're, they're, they talk about major, major double whammy where they're at. So we, we were actually hoping maybe we could stop and maybe help some people on the way back there. Um, and then maybe see a couple sites um, that might still be intact that may be open. But. And so we're going to make the, boat, the most of it. We're going to do what we can do. We're going to um, find some fun things to do in Michigan. And I'm sure that... You're going to see some interesting videos from us as we do some of these fun, interesting things. So keep your heads up. The, uh, you know, the numbers, the, the numbers keep climbing because there are people testing, but the uh, survival rate is very, very high. So that's optimistic on that. And I know many nurses I have actually talked to in person, including ER doctors that, um, that are being very positive about it and believe that we're going to come out all right with this. Um, I was at the ER the other day because I had to go there for work and they weren't too, actually they weren't even really that busy. So I was kind of surprised to see that and happy to see that. So hopefully things will start turning the corner and we believe it uh, will start getting better. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. So anyways, just some things to think about when you are given um, different items. I get that anybody should always be grateful no matter what you get. I mean, if people give me something, I'm very grateful because most of the time it is truly out of their heart. Um, but with that, just try to think a little bit when you are giving something. Um, sometimes you might want to find out if somebody's allergic to something or, you know, sometimes maybe at like Thanksgiving or, or whatever time of the year, somebody might want to give out a ham or turkey, which is, I think that's awesome. Now, some people simply just do not like something like that. Now, they should still be grateful, but or maybe some of these people, they should know how to cook, but some of them really may not know how to cook. But um, So with, the, with what we did today, which, you know, we've done other baskets in the past or things, but basically I just had a big tote, and I thought of things that would be like essentials, things that you would want to have if you needed food. So like a loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, uh, we did peanut butter and jelly, even if they're allergic to peanuts, they don't have to use it because I don't know. Um, we did macaroni and cheese. We did like a pasta dinner. So um, like a, a jar of pasta sauce and some um, spaghetti. <clears throat> we did um, some breakfast food. So like a, uh, um, some cereal. We did some of those pancakes in a cup where you kind of warm them up in the microwave. Like muffins, pancakes in a cup. So those are really easy. Uh, we did some snacks too, not just all regular foods because, you know, kids like snacks. So we did some snacks. And being that there was a couple kids, kids do not understand what we're going through right now. They don't understand why, how, when, you know, um, we all feel like we're grounded in some ways right now. <laughs> grounded. Um, yeah. But uh, so anyways, she so picked up. So we threw in some like um, things for kids to do. So like one of them was younger. So we did some Play-Doh and some coloring books with some crayons. Uh, one's older, so we did. Um, we also threw in like Connect Four, and then there was a, another um, one that was older, so we did a book. Or, uh, don't know if they like to read, but it could be fun. And then like a puzzle game where you have to one of those round puzzles where you, you have to follow the ball all the way through, kind of a, a difficulty thing. Um, yeah, and then we just ended up putting in a gift card for some groceries. So they can pick out what they need or want. Yeah, or maybe they just need to get, you know, a gallon of milk every week and some more bread or whatever uh, to get them through, whatever it is. You know, try to think about what they might need. Uh, we didn't go over the top with a bunch of, like, um, frills, but we made sure that they had a lot of the basics. Oh, I, I threw in some chicken noodle soup, um, things like that, things they would, and some chili. Uh, things that could make a meal. So by the time the basket's done, they have at least probably five meals they could have made. And put a little hand sanitizer in there. Yeah, you know. I put a little bottle but, of uh, hand soap that was in. But maybe it's a hygiene basket you put together. I mean, there's all kinds of things that you can do out there. There's all kinds of ideas. So if you do have ideas, uh, put the comments below. Maybe it can help some people. Um, or if you get any other tips or anything like that, 
Um, so we're just out to try to help people and help encourage people to just help just one another best you can. kindness and love. It goes, goes a long way. It does. It goes a long Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Share with your friends. Thanks.